Hi friends, uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about disjunction connective in discrete mathematics and graph theory course. Disjunction connective is one of the logical connective in propositional logic. How disjunction connective can be used in propositional logic? that we have to discuss now. Let P and Q are two propositions. The disjunction of these two propositions can be obtained by inserting the word R in between the two propositions. So, we have to insert R word in between the two propositions, then we are getting the disjunction of two propositions. It can be symbolically represented as P or Q. So, this symbol represents represents the word R. After combining these two propositions using R word in between them, it becomes a compound proposition. A compound proposition of two given propositions can be obtained by inserting the word R in between the two propositions. Then it can be called as disjunction of two propositions. It can be symbolically represented as P or Q, where this symbol represents the word R. Now, we are taking one example. We are taking the first proposition. 3 is a prime number that can be denoted by capital P. Next, we are taking another proposition. Amaravati is the capital of Andhra Pradesh. That can be denoted by proposition Q. Now, how to combine these two propositions by using R, R connective? So, we have to insert the R in between the two propositions. So, now it becomes the disjunction of two propositions P and Q. In sentence form, we have to write 3 is a prime number. Here we have to write R connective. Next, Amaravati. is the capital of Andhra Pradesh. Here, our word is inserted in between the two propositions. Then, it becomes a disjunction of this two propositions. Now, what is the truth table of uh, disjunction connective? Here, we are taking two propositions. So, now M is nothing but number of propositions. Two propositions that are P and Q. Next one, how many number of rows that are present in the truth table. That can be calculated by using the formula 2 power n, where n is nothing but number of propositions. Now, we have to substitute 2 in the place of n, then we are getting 4. So, therefore, 4 rows are present in the truth table of disjunction. 
So this is the structure of disjunction truth table. So the first column represents the possible truth values of proposition P. The second column represents the possible truth values of proposition Q. Third column represents the possible truth values of disjunction of two propositions P and Q. Okay. Now, both propositions are true. That means, uh, proposition P contains the truth value true. Proposition Q contains the truth value true. Then, the truth value of P or Q is true. Next one. Proposition P truth value is true and proposition Q truth value is false. Then the truth value of P or Q is true. Next, proposition P truth value is false. Proposition Q truth value is true. Then the truth value of P or Q is also true. Next one, proposition P truth value is false, proposition Q truth value is false, then the truth value of P or Q is false. Now, how to remember the truth table of a disjunction connective? When P truth value is false and a Q truth value is false, then P or Q truth value is false. Remaining three cases, P or Q is true. By using this single sentence, we have to write the entire truth table. P or Q is false when P truth value is false and Q truth value is false. Remaining three cases, P or Q truth value is true. So, this is the truth table of disjunction connective. Whatever the points that we have discussed up to now, that points can be uh, right here in terms of notes. I hope all of you understanding this uh, video. Next one. Suppose P truth value is false. Q truth value is false. The truth value of P or Q is also false. Next, P truth value is false and Q truth value is true. Then, P or Q truth value is true. P truth value is true and Q truth value is false. Then, P or Q is true. P or Q truth value is true. Next, P truth value is true and Q truth value is true. Then, P or Q truth value is true. So, this is the simple description of disjunction connective. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts, uh, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really understanding this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. And please subscribe my YouTube channel, Divela Srinivasarao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.